Lyndon Arthur is back, ready to stake a claim for a shot at world glory when he takes on Argentina's Walter Gabriel Shekiera. Part of a huge night of action on Saturday, September the 17th. It's live and free on Channel 5. Razabani Fire for TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast with me, a victorious Troy Williamson. Troy, how are we feeling? Feel great, with uh, Six valuable rounds on there tonight. Um, really pleased. Uh, being, I've been very inactive, if I'm honest. 25th of March was the last fight. I said, I said before, I'm British champion. I, I deserve better, but it is what it is. Nobody wants to fight, so I'm glad I got six good rounds and then now we went on a big one. It was game. He didn't, he didn't come to lie down. He, come, he came to fight. Um, Obviously playing around with that shoulder roll as well. A um, bit more tricky than you expected? Yeah, he was very unorthodox. Yeah. Like you said, he didn't come to lie down, which I'm really happy about. It was nothing worse than his journey than that. Just come to lie down. He, he, he came there to go, but I just broke his will and got out there um, in the sixth. What were the corner team saying after the fight? My corner team. Just the, the, the happy, obviously. The happy I got the round as well, obviously. Really, it was, just, it was just a case of working on things we've been working on in the gym. I didn't want to go in there and just blast them out. Um, I, I think I was trying a little bit too hard early on, but I felt like I, I, I warmed up in, from round three. Started keeping the long range, and once I did keep started keeping the long range and picking them off then, I started hurting him and um, got a little bit dirty in there, just I think tired by time, but obviously eventually I got to him and obviously I broke him. I know you fight came on last minute, um, how was the weight? Because I know you obviously you weren't at your natural weight as well. Yeah, I was not, obviously I was, I weighed in 12 stone. I think I got told like a week before, so I had to drop a little bit of weight, but that's like, not because I've, I've not been trained, I've been in the gym, but the walk around with quite obviously I'm, I'm mad, you can, have, you can look up the statue, I'm big for 11 stone, so I had to call a little bit away, but didn't do me no harm. Um, I felt strong in there, and now we've got plenty of time in the full camp to, to get down to the natural way, and when I do do that, I'm going to be supremely fit and supremely strong at it. I've seen the poster doing the circles, doing the rounds, Josh Kelly next, it's going to happen in December, Kyla told me during the week, but surely that's a, that's a huge fight for yourself, and, and one that you're really going to get for. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, I've been called. I've been asking for this fight for a while now, and uh, I turned to his fight in Newcastle top. I didn't have no spot in Newcastle. I just it stirred the pot, and it obviously worked. Got a lot of people talking, and it's caused the fight now. So he's, he's got nowhere to hide. So yeah, it's uh, a big, big northeast derby, and it's uh, it's going to sell out the arena for sure. Surprised he didn't turn up today to see you? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't turn up. I think he's, I think he's fucking, I think he's dropped his ass. If I'm honest with you, why didn't he turn up? He got, he got invited to come down, from what I believe. So. Why not turn up and obviously witness a dom dom demolition job like I told him I was going to do? Do you feel like you're, you're getting Josh at the best possible time coming off that? Obviously, you had that loss with Avenisian. He had two fights since then. Uh, there were fights just to kind of get him back in the groove. But do you feel like you're getting him at the right time, or or is it? It doesn't make a difference whether it's the right time or not. You're, you're, you've got faith in yourself. It doesn't make a difference. Like I said, I, I believe I'm, I'm one of the best super welterweights in, in, in Europe. So it doesn't really matter whether. It's, He's at the end of his career, which I don't believe he is. Or whether it's the best of Josh Kelly. I hope it's the best Josh Kelly turns up because then there's going to be no excuses. But I believe the best version of me beats the best version of him. So we've got obviously got to wait and obviously wait, wait till fine night and I'll be able to prove everybody what obviously what I'm talking about. Troy, many congratulations again. I promised you three minutes. I stuck to my word. Uh, and yeah, roll on this big clash with Josh Kelly in the North East uh, sometime in December. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. Roll on. Troy Williamson, IFL TV. Thank you very much. Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. There's five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.